Yes? What is my task? It shall be. Oh, we have such stories amongst my people. Being underground is just not for the Avariel. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Gather your party before venturing forth. Oh, so you come to us at last, child of Baal. You come to claim your heritage, perhaps, and in pieces, no less. How terrible it must be to die in such a state. One of the tears does slide near this very place. It is in the possession of another. One with so much power, so difficult to defeat it is. But all things, even the most powerful, can be overcome, yes. You have defeated many whose claims of power were so hollow. You tore them down from their thrones. Ah, always you have used the right tools to defeat your foes, yes. And I am giving you now the right tool to defeat this one. Here it is. Gaze upon the soul that is named Black Racer. Most powerful it is, and it is the tool you need to defeat the one who holds the tear. It is for you to decide, child of Baal, how to use the tool you have. I leave you to your choice then. On my honor. Consider it done. I see the ruler of this small plane has come to me. Perhaps my eternal torment shall be relieved at long last. Oh, I can only hope. I am most grateful to you then for my release. Oh, may the heavens sing your praises for this charity you have shown me. Yes, I will do my best.
On my arm. Yes. Nature's servant awaits. Yes. Very well. Done. your party before venturing forth. It is a good thing you've come to me, child of Ball. Only you hold the power to vanquish the terrible creature that holds one of your dead father's tears here. I have heard of your prowess, child. Most impressive for a mortal life. Creatures of great power thrown aside as if they were nothing. Beings any other mortal would quake before, you have fought against valiantly. You are a wonder of destruction, child of Baal. Go then, and defeat the creature that lies in the cavern. Crush it beneath your heel and claim another victory! It is a powerful creature, child of Baal. One that only you can destroy. I am confident in your ability to deal death to such a creature as this, and take the tear that is yours. It is a creature that deserves death, child of Baal. You are such a wondrous fighter. I simply thought that you could defeat it where others failed. Because... because it exists. It stands in your way. You do not. Then perhaps you consider carefully the place that your terrible power will focus upon? Consider the reason behind every blow? I see that despite your great deeds, you have no pride in you, child of all. So be it. Humility serves well those who wield it well. As you ask. What is my task? It shall be. Gather your party before venturing forth. Consider it done. Gather your party before venturing forth. The tear of Baal lies very close to you, child of Baal. Except Uncle Gerhard. Just beyond either of these two rooms before you. You have encountered many times in your existence where you have been forced to swallow your fear, no? You have fought off terror that would overwhelm a lesser being and shown courage instead. Pass through either of these rooms. And your vaunted courage shall be challenged, child of Baal. I have something I will offer, however, which will make it so much easier for you, child. You know, like so many with power, that items of magic can do much that the ordinary man cannot. Such as this cloak, for instance. Stitched together from the flayed skins of lovely nymphs. Wear it and be soothed by its powerful magic. Panic will never overcome you again. With this cloak, you could easily gather the tear of Baal and worry not of your courage. I bow to the power of your divine soul, child, and offer this cloak up to you, if you wish it. Then you choose to rely on your own power and bravery. It shall be as you wish, child of Baal. I await your word. I fought. On my heart. Uh, 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 uh,
interrupted. Swords, not words! On my honor. I shall go forth at your command. I can carry no more. What was given is now upon the ground. Yes? Point the sword and I shall strike. What is my task? On my I will do my best. <laughs> On my time. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Yes, as you ask. I await your need. My task. It shall be. Consider it done. Know you, child, that there is a tier of ball in this place before us. Yet there are two paths that lead to it. Two doors, two paths. Yet both lead to your goal. You have made many choices on the journey that was your life. Many paths have you taken, and always they have had an effect on those around you, even when that was not your intention. Such is the fate of those born with destiny. The consequences of the actions they take ripple about them throughout all that is reality. Perhaps the fate of others concerns you little. Perhaps it consumes your soul. That too is a choice, an action taken, a ripple set into the pond of reality. The path that you take to the tear will affect another this day. Another who is innocent of the action you take, and yet affected by it just the same. One of those who travels with you who orbits your destiny and yet is innocent of your taint, will do nicely. Remember, child of all, a choice must be made, and you must live with the consequences of that choice. <laughs>
on my honor. I will do my best. Yes? Yes. A selfless act from one who willingly shoulders the burden of destiny and its effect upon others. Your companion is returned to you, child of Baal. The tear of Baal is yours, child. What is my task? On my honor. Your word. What is my task? On my honor. What can I do? Gather your party before Done. venturing forth. On my it shall be. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Consider it done. So we meet again. How fitting that our reunion should be in this place of retribution. It is I, or an echo perhaps. My essence joined that of our dead father after you murdered me after all. But in the end, all the children of Baal end up here. I have one of the tears of Baal you will need. I will not hand it over to you, however. You do not deserve it. I mean you are a pathetic worm. Sniveling little cretin. I relished spitting Gorion on my blade. And were there true justice, our positions would be reversed now. Ah, yes. Stoke that infernal wrath of yours. I can feel the anger within you, boiling like a pit of sulfur in the crevices of your heart. You feel it, do you not? The taint that surrounds your soul like a serpent, squeezing it, spreading its venom. That taint, that wrath exists in all the children of Baal, but few know how to use it. You have become the Slayer, have you not? The avatar of our dead father. The blackest expression of murder. I see it behind your eyes. Summon your wrath for me. You were the one who brought me here. Your power over this place has summoned forth my essence once again. And why do you think you have done that? I can teach you how to use your wrath. You can control the taint, direct it, summon it at will. You can become the slayer at will and become the weapon of murder that you were meant to be. So think of me. Think of how I destroyed your precious Gorion. How I plundered the lives of your Candlekeep. Summon your rage! Stir the depths of your black heart! Summon wrath. Summon wrath and become it! Because if you cannot, then you are not worth your destiny. It should have been I! It should have been I! Attack me, worm, if you dare! Then you were never worthy of Bald's blood, and I shall crush you where you stand! Now, 
On my yes. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Very well. Yes, done. So we are to battle one last time. No more hiding for either of us. You cannot stop the righteous arrayed against you, wizard. We shall live once again in the light, and you will not stop us! I came to hell to help my friend. Who helps you, Irenicus? Demons? You are going to die alone in hell, and you know it! <laughs> some villains just refuse to die. Kill them once, kill them twice. It's like some bad play. Well, he is hoping for a decent ending. No more platitudes, Irenicus! You have taken much from all of us. Now you die your final death! I grow tired of shouting battle cries when fighting this mage. Boo will finish his eyeballs once and for all, so he does not rise again. Evil, meet my sword! Sword, meet evil!
On my honor. Yes? You sound like I'll gold. Help however I can. I stand amongst the righteous. What is my task? Hmm? On my honor. As you ask. Yes, it shall be. What is my task? At your order. Is it now? On my honor. What can I do? This is a lot more exciting than any circus. Manus, potentus, yes. consider it done. I will do my best. On my honor. Minsk and Boo stand ready. Yes? What is my task? On my yes. Yes. What is my very well?
have survived the return of the exile to Soldan SLR know me, your queen. But only some of you know the hero beside me, who was most instrumental in saving our city and the Tree of Life. Such selfless acts almost resulted in the loss of your life, and perhaps much more than that. These deeds were not performed alone. Soldan SLR also extends its gratitude to those who have traveled with you, and fought by your side to help save our city. There is no reward adequate enough for one who has done so much. Let us offer them the eternal thanks of our people and an amulet of the Seldarine to remind you forever that you are welcome here amongst us. As for the man whom we once knew as John Aleth, I can only say that he died long ago. He lives in my memory still. To the man he became, the exile, Erenicus, he who performed atrocities on you, the tree, and his former people, to him I can only send my prayer that he finds the peace in death he never found in life. I feel I must apologize on his behalf for what he put you and your friends through. For his madness, we stripped Jonaleth of his elven immortality and exiled him, only to create Irenicus instead. I cannot help but feel we are partly responsible. It is something I shall have to ponder on. As for you, 
I imagine you are eager to resume your travels once again. We wish you well. No, we look forward to your return in the future, should you desire to. Ryan's ward has become too powerful. We should have acted long before now. There is no reason to be concerned. The fate of this fool has been sealed. But can we be so sure? This spawn of Bob is doomed. There is no escape. There's no peace for a child of Baal. You've learned this lesson time and again, as all who are close to you suffer because of your tainted blood. When John Irenicus fell, you had hoped for some sort of respite, but peril follows you like pestilence. The time of the prophecy has come. Five powerful Baal spawn have arisen leading their armies across the Sword Coast, slaughtering their weaker siblings and innocents alike in a wave of massive destruction. Like wildfire, panic spreads before the armies of the Five, and those suspected of being children of Baal are cast out and revived. Even in Sultan Esselar, unease grows into fear at your presence. Queen Elysim urges you to visit a sacred grove where the ancients might shed light on your fate. You wonder what part you will play in the dreaded prophecy, and how long before its culmination devours your soul. <laughs> Only one thing seems certain. So long as Baal's throne of blood stands empty, Chaos shall reign. I must rest for our cause to succeed. On my gun.
guess. I am easing out those places, though it never seems to last. What is my task? As you ask. Shall be. Really? I am pleased at the progress yes. that this ill conceived group has made. I had not thought such a thing possible. I await your word. What is my considerate done? So, I have found you at last. It was an effort to track you down in these woods. Too many old wards for my liking. But here you are. All that you need to know is that I have been given the pleasure of ending your life. I may yet mount your head on the wall with all the other ball spawn I've killed. I haven't decided. Not all of us have been wandering Faroon like witless cattle, like you and pathetic Amoan and so many others of Baal's blood. Some of us have far greater aspirations. The time of Alondo's prophecy has come. These rhyming ghosts here should have told you that much. Great things are afoot, and your contribution will be your death. It has already been decided. I am Ilacera the Quick, child of Baal, and I have been chosen to perform this deed. You cannot resist us. We shall see. and raring to go! I stand amongst the righteous.
another item on the ground. I can carry no more. I greet you, Godchild. You who are of divine blood, I have awaited you. How would you define a dream? It has a fleeting path without true substance, and this is no dream. I have brought you to this place, and it is real. I have existed since the first strand of fate was woven, a servant of the paths and the gods. I have watched your own path most carefully. Our own servant, who was the mortal Alanda, spake the truth that became prophecy. It tells of the coming of all the others who are the progeny of all. The spark of the divine rest within all of Bob's children, and the time for their joining is nigh. The progeny of all men, and now they are quickly being extinguished, their spark returning to its source. An event unfolds of divine significance, Kacha. You are central to this event. Many are the strings of fate that start or pass through you. The end, I cannot see. I must shepherd you through this time as best I can. This, this is the layer of the abyss, once ruled by your sire, Paul. You have been here before, although it was altered then by your own consciousness. The progeny of Paul are many, and now they are quickly being extinguished, their spark returning to its source. An event unfolds of divine significance, Godchild. You are central to this event. Many are the strings of fate that start or pass through you. The end, I cannot see. I must shepherd you through this time as best I can. I cannot interfere. I can only prepare you, Godchild. Aid in your education. You who are most unready to assume your destiny. I mean only that you are unready for the possibilities that await you. Your mortal mind does not readily comprehend the power in your blood. When you were last in your sire's realm, Godchild, it was altered by your own consciousness, without you even forming the intent to do so. You are not ready for the power. You must be ready. It is your presence which determines the outcome of the prophecy. Although even I cannot see it yet. When the time comes, you will be ready. I will make certain. Power comes with knowledge, Godchild. It shall come to you in time, as your destiny unfolds. I shall see you soon. Until then, hold your heart close, and know that you are not alone. So, you have finally arrived. I have been waiting for you.
What is my time? Yeah. Uh, uh, how long does the little butler for the great bow. Oh, yes! Or I was. It has been very lonely for me. No more master to serve for a very long time. Until now, that is. Oh, I does clean things. I goes and I collect the little things that find their ways to the abyss. And when my master requests, I uses the recipes to making the shiny ones. Oh, yes. Yes, oh, yes. Call on me, you may. Use my recipes for you will. I, I make the shiny ones. Have not done this for some time, though. No new master have I. Cespinar gladly serves a great one. Cespinar make good butler, yes? Would you like me to make you shiny ones? I have many recipes. Ooh! Needs must I look through your belongings? Match them to recipes, must I? Let me see. Oh! Holy Avenger Sword, huh? Nice! Okay! I keep looking through stuff! Ah, the flail of many heads it is! Ouch! Ooh, wrong head! You sure you not just want to dump everything out? Easier that way. Ooh! You like this one, maybe? Like a little snack on a tush, huh? <laughs> okay, so I keep looking. What is this? Still cookie? Oh? That is not cookie! Dum 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 Oh! Shower curtain! Oh! It's only a cloak! Nasty pattern, that! On my honor.
against all my better judgment, I'll give you a second chance to change your mind. How about it? Two turnips and I stay? Three? Against all my better judgment, I'll give you a second chance to change your mind. How about it? Two turnips and I stay? Three? I will do my best. Yes. and blood and bone! I am alive! <laughs> I swore I would scratch and crawl my way back into the world of the living, and I have done it! What do you wish? In my youth, I spent much of my time looking into the old lore of the dead long priesthood. I unearthed one of the old prophecies from an uncooperative sect of Syric. One that spoke extensively of this time now upon us. The Sword Coast will run red with blood, yes. But the battles will culminate in a great struggle within a city to the south. The Tetherian city of Seradush. It is there that you must go, where the first step of the prophecy will unfold.
Oh, what? Is it time to go already? You want me to go? Are you sure? Uh, part of me feels that I need to be with you. That something important is happening. But if you're sure... Yes?